Hi, this is Jody from Puppy Winkle, and I wanted to show you my most recent spread in my Backyard Nature Journal. I have different chapters in this book. I have a place for plants, I have a place for animals, I have a place for birds, I have a place back here for insects, but I also left a miscellaneous chapter. And one of the things, one of the sections in my miscellaneous chapter is going to be about nests. Um, so this is kind of like saying here, we're, we're going to talk about nests and in these following pages, I'll fill in the different nests I find in the yard. So I'm going to leave some good section back here because I know I have other nests to talk about. But anyway, this part is exciting because it has a little pop-up. There's two little hungry birds that come out of the nest and it was super easy. All I did was uh, here under the nest, I put one slit, one little cut in the cardboard and then another little cut here and then I ran this thing under and then it came back out up. But I'll show you how I did it, but it's literally just two cuts. So super easy to do, nothing fancy. If you've never tried a pop-up, this is an easy one to start with. But anyway, and then this is all about the red-eyed vireo because I found a red-eyed vireo nest. These I made earlier, I'll link to the video, and they're little journaling cards they tell about all about the nest and who builds them, the female builds them, what the eggs look like. And then here's a picture of the nest that I found. And this says what, what they're made of. It says where I, where I found it. And there's another close-up picture. So here's some little journaling cards with all the information. And up top is a little precious red-eyed Vireo who made this gorgeous thing that I'm going to show you. And the leaves hang out over. Ah, I love that. And I'm going to show you how to make it. I do have to add that I drew this, this background and I was so nervous. It's a tree. And I'll show you kind of how I talked myself into it because I am not confident in my artistic abilities at all. And I'm pretty proud of myself for pushing through. And I'm happy with it how, how it turned out. So if you've ever had any doubts about your artistic ability, stick with me, because I'll talk you through it. I wanted to first show you the inspiration for this page. This is a red-eyed vireo nest. When the leaves fell off the tree in our backyard, the maple tree, my husband saw this way up high and knew that it was something incredible and he cut it down because we knew nobody was using it in December. And I looked it up and that's what it is. It's made of twigs and wasp nest paper, which they say has no, no bearing on the structure, but maybe is used to camouflage. So predators stay away. They think it's a wasp nest. That's uh, Somebody's wondering that. And it's all held together by spider web. Isn't that incredible? So a little tribute to the red-eyed vireo. The first thing I did was I made a background for it. I wanted to put my nest into a tree. And so I made this tree and I, I made it on a separate piece of cardstock because um, number one I like the strength when I'm making a mechanism and number two I never know what I'm doing and so if I mess up <laughs> I don't mess up a page in my book I just mess up a sheet so so here it is and I want to continue this tree on this side and so I'm just gonna show you how I did it. I am not an artist, like at all. And I had no idea what I was doing. And but but when I'm creating, I always just trust that mm, you know it it'll it'll look better when I'm done, right? So if it if it looks like crap as I'm doing it, I just accept that. And <laughs> 
And usually if I just stick with it and add stuff and take stuff away, it, it kind of works out. So anyway, I'm going to do that again right here in front of you. So I'm going to continue my tree and just show you how I did it. I made a line down here, just pencil. And then I'm going to make my first branch. And that's up higher. And so that'll be the top. And then so I'm going to go down here. And then I'm going to split it. Because that's what tree branches do, right? They, they split. And then I'm just going to do that a couple more times. That and that and split it. And then that. I'm not looking at the other side because you know what? Mother Nature is not symmetrical. She doesn't care. She just does it, you know? So there. So those are my branches. And then I took my alcohol markers because that is what I have. So I have four shades of brown. I'm gonna start with my lightest and I'm just gonna do a little small part so you can see. I don't cover the whole thing evenly, but I do wanna cover it because this side is green. This side I could leave show a little because the background's brown. And then I get another color, a little darker. And then I just add some of these little markings just because, you know, bark is rough and I just wanted to add some variation to the color. And that's really all I did. I just did little, little different variations with the different colors. Then I went back with my light again, my light marker again and just kind of smooth the whole thing out. So that's how I did it, and I'm gonna finish up. So here it is, I finished coloring it in, and then I added some little twigs for the leaves to come off of. And this is the time when it's looking pretty bad, right? <laughs> I was feeling a little hopeless when I got to this point. But then I'm gonna put on some washi tape leaves, and I'm gonna use green because nests are built in the spring. And I'm just gonna put a little leaf coming off of every twig and it'll look better. So here's my tree so far. When I get this page glued in, I'm going to add some more leaves in the center and figure out what to do with these tips here, but I'm gonna do that later. Right now I wanna work on the mechanism. I have my pop-up, which is a picture of two baby birds that I cut out of a book and this is four, four layers of cardstock. So I just, I cut one piece, you know, maybe about this big, folded it in half, fold it in half again, and then glued it. So that's super sturdy, so it's not gonna bend with plenty of use. And then I have a nest, which I made out of corrugated cardboard strips and I just glued them onto a piece of cardstock in a nest kind of shape and left some, some texture there. And the thing is your pop-up has to fit behind this. This has to be big enough to fit, to hide the birds, right? So that's one thing to think about. And when you, close the book, you're going to want it to be hidden. And so this stick, you don't want it to be, you don't want the whole thing to be way down here 
because then your stick will be out the edge here, if that makes sense. So you want the stick to be here when it's closed, so that that tells you how high this thing needs to be. So now that I have an approximate idea of where my cuts are going to go, I took a piece of cardstock, a second piece. It's the same color, so it's hard to see. But I just glued that down over the area where the cuts will go, so there will be two layers, and so that gives it extra strength. Another thing I want to do before I assemble the, the mechanism is I want to put a coat of Mod Podge over these leaves because I don't want them peeling up and interfering with this motion. See, there, there's one happening right there. So I don't want them to interfere, so I'm going to kind of glue them down. So here's where it gets fun. We're ready to figure this thing out. I have my nest here. I have my stick. I think I'm gonna be able to trim it right about there. But if I put if I put the one slit here, I'm just gonna mark it. Just kind of tucked under the nest. That's where the that's where the stick will go under the cardstock. And then it'll come out here after this leaf is done. So I'm going to make a slit here, slit here, and this piece will be under the cardstock. Then I'm going to put my little knob here. And if you hold the little knob and push it up, you're only going to be able to go to here where the slit is. And that's enough for the birds to pop out. So that all works. If your, if your knob was here, say, if you put your knob here and the slit is here, then you would only be able to push it to that, that high because the knob can't go under the slit. So just a little thought, a little thought process before you make those final cuts made my first cut. It's sideways because that's how it's easier for me to work. My first cut and I stuck the stick inside so it, I know it fits. And now I'm going to make this second one exactly as, as parallel as I can get it and the same length. And I'm just going to pull it out. There we go. So there's my up and down. And now, again, I want to test test the nest. Oh, I used I used a board under there so I didn't cut my table. So if this goes here and I put my little knob here, There we go. They pop up. Perfect. Very fun. And so I'm just going to put a little hole right through here. And this is a brad, a fancy brad. And these two things open. So I'm going to attach that and I'm going to trim this off. And then I'm going to test it one more time before I glue on the nest. I used an awl to make the hole to put my brad through and that went through very easily the four layers and I used um, a craft knife and a ruler to slice this off near the edge or at the edge and my little mechanism works great so I'm going to put it in the down position and I'm going to put a little bit of glue just he oh, on the other side here and here because I don't want to inhibit the movement of the birds. I don't want to glue this so tight that the birds can't move. So I'm just going to glue here and here, and that'll be plenty. And it's a nest, right? It's big, it's round, it's not going to be slap dab next to the tree, so that works.
wherever I put it. Where am I going to put it? I'm going to put it right here. So a little glue here, little glue here. And then I'm ready to glue this into the back, uh, onto the book. But again, I don't want to inhibit this movement. So I'll glue all here and I'll glue here and down here, but I'm not going to glue too close to this area because this has to be able to move. I've been busy while I waited for the nest to dry on the loose page. I added some elements because I had it clipped. I had it clipped with these things to the page, but I wanted it to really dry. So I, I just started working on other stuff. I added some elements I had. This I had made earlier, and these I have a video where I show how I made those, so I'll link to that. Added a little red-eyed vireo, and after that, I glued this page down to the, to the actual book. So I attached it to the book, and now I'm letting, letting that dry. And while I worked on that, or when I let that dry, I added... Um, to the backs of the leaves, I put a little bit of glue on each of these tips and put some paper on the back, some corrugated cardboard paper, um, which that same video shows you how I get that. It's like wonderful stuff. But anyway, and then I just cut them out because I loved how they hang over the edge like this. And there's room for them in the book. You know, it's wide enough and it's only coming out the top. It's not coming out the bottom. And I just thought they looked so good. Um, and then I added extra leaves in here just to kind of, you know, fill it out, fill it out, integrate this. Like I put some of them on top of the nest a little bit so it looks kind of integrated. Not realistic, but more so. <laughs> And then I Mod Podged these newer leaves down and I Mod Podged this side too. So, um, yeah, so it's all ready. And if you have any questions, please let me know. And thanks so much for watching. <laughs> Bye.